they've been trying to accuse and test you. They've been trying to test you, to hold you by your word, to accuse you. But you know better. You know better. Hallelujah. They've been trying to accuse you of something that they are into. Thinking that you're one of them. Thinking that you you do the same thing that they do. For some reason, thank you, Jesus. Mm. I saw someone trying to appreciate somebody, but they have at the back of their mind to like, test somebody. They've been bringing questions, bringing, you know, trying to say some things in order to like, like they're just throwing words to test your reaction, to test what you're going to say regarding that. So they will hold you by it and accuse you by it. Something that you don't know anything about. Some people are so intimidated by you and they're just so marveled at how you do things. And because they've, they've, they've gone about doing these things in a negative manner, they have very bad approach towards certain things. They have very dark secrets towards what they do. They think that you are like them today. They think that you are like them. So they went about throwing words, throwing questions to test you, to know if at all that you are with them or not, my God. So we want to find out to know if you're part of them or not. If you support a certain idea or you support a certain action or you support a certain philosophy, a certain concept or not, they want to know that they are trying to test you because right now they are blinded. Right now they, they can't they can fathom you. They don't know where exactly you belong. They don't know where exactly, that, is that where exactly you are coming from. They don't know your, your standpoint at this moment. And so because they've tried so many ways to, to, to find out who you really are and what you stand for, your values, your everything, because they could not have access to that information, they went about now bringing this, this strategy, appreciating you, bringing some questions towards you, to test you, to know if at all that you you are into what they are into, or something, beloved. So much, so much just to find out if if at all that, if at all what, you, what they believe in or what they are into is exactly what you are. Whereas you're not. And they even, they even discovered that you are not part of them. They even discovered that you have nothing to do with whatever that, that they've been trying to, to, to tell you or bring towards you or explain towards you. And they guess what? They went about accusing you on the very thing that they know that you're not part of. They went about trying to accuse on, about, very, about something that they know that you're not part of. Something that, something that they are directly involved in, something that they do, something that they practice. But because they realize that you are not part of that, they went about accusing by the very thing. That is, it's so ironic, beloved. beloved like, it's. After testing you, testing you, testing you, and you figure them out, they didn't know what to do. Just like how the Father sees tested Christ, beloved. Mark 12, verse, verse 13. Then they sent some of the Pharisees and Herodians to him in order to trap him in a statement. They came and said to him, that's to, to Christ, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and differ to no one. For you are not partial to any, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay a poor tax to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? But he knew, but he knew it, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They bought him, they bought one, and he said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said to him, Caesar. And Jesus said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were amazed at him. They tried to appreciate you, to acknowledge you in a bit too. To bring in a certain question to test you. 
to see if you're going to fall on it or not. But some of you have been so, so wise. And you give them response that they needed. You give them, you, 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 I don't know what you did, but some people actually marveled at your wisdom. I don't know what you told some people, but they're actually like, they're, they're, they feel so ashamed right now. Because of the because of the manner in which you reacted to the situation, towards the manner in which you responded to you responded you responded you gave a response to a certain answer to a certain question that they asked you to test you, because you knew what they were up to, you knew where they were coming from, and you knew what they were what they were trying to get out of you. May God continue to give you that wisdom, to fathom the beloved. May God may God continue to give that wisdom. To know their schemes as they approach you, you shall know how to handle them accordingly in the name of our Lord and Savior Yahushua Mashiach. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. And that is your heritage in the name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. May you continue to be filled with wisdom to face these wicked people that are trying to catch you by your own statements, by your actions. You are free. You are free. You are free. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach, faith is our vehicle, is our strength. See you in the next video. Hallelujah.